Hi, Dr. Justin Lim from Professor Yolan Lim Healthcare. I recently came across an interesting story of someone who stated that they had passed large gallstones in their stools. These were actually witnessed and they saw multiple green yellow masses in the toilet bowl looking like gallstones. He explained that he simply drank a combination of apple and vegetable juice, had no food, then finished it off with some olive oil and lemon juice and then he waited for the passing of these so-called gallstones. In all my medical career, including helping out in general surgery in major medical hospitals in Melbourne, I had never come across this phenomenon. So is this possible? Let's begin with some simple anatomy. Firstly, we have the gallbladder, which produces bile. This helps us absorb food. This is where potential gallstones are formed. Connecting the gallbladder to the duodenum is a small straw-like tube known as the bile duct, which on average is only 4 millimeters wide. If enlarged, like in patients with chronic liver disease, then it may increase to 7 millimeters in size. So how could gallstones squeeze through this relatively narrow bile duct and enter the small intestine and hence allegedly pass in stools, given that Commonly, gallstones are, and can be, quite large, in effect the size of anywhere, for example, of golf balls, or even larger than that in certain circumstances. Could this one person have discovered a hack that could have saved millions of people around the world going into hospital for surgery? Could these really be gallstones that he found in his stools? The answer is no. It defies anatomy and physiology that these alleged stones pass through the narrow bile duct. So what are these supposed stones found in this person's stools? The hospital tested these green stones and it showed that these were a conglomerate of derivatives of gastric juices, the olive oil and potassium from the lemon juice from which the person self-medicated with, and that these are actually called soap stones. The take home message is that please be aware of the misinformation abound from non-medical sources and on random websites masking to be proponents of health. Any questions, please see your medical doctor.